this video is going to be dedicated to my highlight and contour routine but i'm also going to be comparing products um i have my anastasia beverly hills cream contour kit that i haven't been using much i use it normally on other people as well as like under my brows and things like that i normally don't use it all over my face so this will be my first time using it all over my face as well as my first time comparing it with my elegant pro la girl pro concealers which are the ones that I use every single time I do a tutorial so I've already done my foundation and brows in a previous video so right now I'm going to be showing you guys how I do my highlight and contour routine I'm also going to be comparing my LA girl concealers um, with my Anastasia Beverly Hills cream contour kit just to see which one works better with my skin I also want to be able to show you guys that you can achieve the same look with using products that are less expensive or more expensive it doesn't matter it's just it's not what you have it's how you use it so I'm gonna start off by concealing my under eyes and I'm going to be going into the cinnamon color in my Anastasia Beverly Hills And then I'm going to be going in with my LA Girl Concealer in the color Toffee on the other side. And I'm just going to be using my damp beauty blender to go ahead and blend this out. And just because I'm used to using the LA Girls, the LA Girl concealers, I can already tell you that the Anastasia Beverly Hill ones are a little bit harder to blend out. Whereas my LA Girls are a whole lot more, a whole lot easier to blend up. I'm gonna try to use this lighter color to see if maybe that will help to highlight more because I'm definitely not getting the results I expected I would with this cream contour kit so I'm just gonna try to make it work here. So this is the side with the LA Girl Pro Concealer and this is the side with the Anastasia Beverly Hills Cream Contour Kit. For the most part, they both feel the same, but I definitely like the LA Girl Pro Conceal, um, at least from where I'm standing, from where I'm looking. I can definitely see that I like this side a whole lot better than I like this side because I'm getting more of a highlight over here. Now I'm just gonna go ahead and I'm going to set my under eyes and the areas that I have with the concealers with my air sponge. Translucent, translucent <laughs> extra coverage powder. Now that I have added my baking powder to my face, I'm just going to let it sit for a little bit. I'm not going to bake for very long because I do have like combination skin, so sometimes baking makes me a little dry. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to be contouring now. And I'm going to be using... Oh crap. <laughs> that was a bad, bad idea. I should probably switch brushes up. But I'm going to be using this chocolate color 
from the Anastasia Beverly Hills Cream Contour Kit. To contour my face. I used my Elegirl Pro on this side, of course. And now I'm just going to blend it up. Now I'm just going to be taking this contour color in my Black Radiance True Complexion Contour Palette. I'm going to be taking this color and I'm going to sweep away the excess and try to like get rid of this ghostly look that I'm getting under my eyes. Oh wait. I definitely forgot to blend my nose contour. Then I'm going to set the cream contour with the contour color and the medium to dark palette. So now I'm just going to be setting my face with my Master Fix Maybelline setting spray. While my face is still wet, I'm going to dig into my Milani Tantastic in the color Fantastic in Gold um, and just highlight my face. Now I'm just going to be taking my foundation brush that I used earlier and I'm just going to go ahead and blend around the areas that I contoured so that everything kind of goes in seamlessly. So yeah, that was it for my highlight and contour routine. Um, this is pretty much how I highlight and contour anytime I'm going anywhere. Sometimes I do switch up the products a little bit, but I didn't want to compare to see how the Anastasia Beverly Hills Contour Cream Kit and the LA Girl Pro Can, uh, can I talk? <laughs> so this is it for my finished highlight and contour routine. Um, Again, I used this side was my Anastasia Beverly Hills Cream Contour Kit, and this side I used LA Girl Pro Concealers. I used the same setting powders and the same highlighters and the same blush on both sides just to see how they react to my everyday products. Um, just by looking at from my point of view, I can already tell that I like this side, which is the side with the LA Girl Pro Concealers, just because the side with the Anastasia Beverly Hills Cream Contour Colors, that's a lot to say. They see, it's like... It's kind of like it had like a grayish undertone to it and I just wasn't feeling it for my highlight. Maybe for the contour, the contour was a nice color but that highlight just wasn't a good color. Um, I do use the, I mean you can see that there's a little dent in it so you know I've been using it but I normally use it for my brows and for other people. Um, so yeah, I don't know. But overall they both look good. Mm -hmm.